said, in what ways can we promote more unity in our society in the midst of so much political and social disagreements and trauma? Man, that's a, that's a tough question. Let's say you have a very polarizing, a very polarizing question um, today, uh, or sorry, polarizing um, uh, opinion on a topic, and somebody else has an opinion that's you know, the opposite. So you two are butting heads, right? What would it look like if you were to take their side of the debate? and give your top three reasons for their side. One of my favorite questions that um, to get into that space is to say, if you, if you believe something completely different from me, vehemently, I have to ask myself, why, why would this intelligent man hmm. think something so different from myself? Sure. Like what, in what mind frame, in what environment, how would yeah. that be created? And try and put myself in that space. Sure. So that's the ultimate in empathy, right? It might be interesting in how you could start to see things through somebody else's point of view. But it's all about putting yourself in their shoes. This idea, and this is what's really wrong with what's going on in society is that you have two opposing views that are equally as passionate, equally as vigilant on their point of view. And then you have this absurd, absurd, absurd idea that the louder I speak, the more aggressively I speak, the more violently I speak, the truer the words that I'm speaking become. That's ridiculous. Like you, they, they say their their opinion. This is my opinion. Well, you're wrong. And they say this is my opinion. They say it louder and more and more with more force. I'm on the other side, still saying it's wrong. And that's what happens. It goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. When no one is putting themselves in the other person's shoe, no one is taking a step back and saying, "Well, why do they believe that?" Like I, I get it, they're they're against my point of view, but why? What are some of the reasons why they would think that way? But creating these uh, steel person arguments instead of steel man or straw man, rather, mm -hmm. right? Where you can just knock them down. Try and create the strongest possible argument that the other side can have. How would you argue their position? Huh. You might find yourself sort of creeping in or at yeah. least listening a little bit differently. Yeah.